Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. I must say it's a really good thing that this uh, cave on the belt, well the first cave on the belt anyway, is right at the beginning of the segment because it's easy to forget my way through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could fight the encounters here, but I might as well save my uh, HP for the Elite River. Now, I'm not sure if I got that encounter taking the step left or taking... Well, I guess I'll find out. Maybe I could just take another step left and that would be likely to solve it. Yeah, because then I'll just take up tr take three steps up at the bottom here. And it should line me up just as nicely as ever. Even if I was in the wrong place. Alright, I probably made it. One, two, three. Well, I got an encounter going right. I guess it's a good thing. Oh no, this battle's inescapable, isn't it? Uh... Oh, crud. For I forgot which uh, menu noise he was on because of... Brave New World. Uh, well, now I'm gonna go find him again. Okay, just making sure I'm in the right place before I go even trying, because otherwise that's a complete waste of time. At least it's the last uh, encounter in the set of belt formations, so it'll go back to easy stuff like leapers. Okay, let's just see if anything happens. Okay, th nope. It was probably a leafer, leafer dark wind battle. All right, I think Gao might be back. <laughs> That's good. That's kind of not what I meant to do at all, but at least I've had kind of practice with these felt encounters. Alright, so I'm back in business, I suppose. Now it's just... Now just hoping I don't mess up the cake this time. Last time I forgot to go right at a certain point. It's just such a mess, though, in this place, so... It's hard to remember. The Serpent Trench is a lot nicer. Alright, there we go, done that. Alright, now I can go up and left a bunch to the place where the tonic is. I won't quite hit it. I'll have to take a step down, but it's worth it anyway. I mean, it's a whole 50 GP, but essentially. But, I mean, it's like right there, so I might as well get it. Or not. Dang it, what could have happened there? All I did was go up and left a bunch.
All right, there we go. I managed to hit it. I figured I probably went a little bit too far up at one point or something, so I just started backing down to the bottom left. Alright, so this time I have to go right to hit the wall before I run to the stupid notch here. There's really nothing to tell me where I am in this cave either. I hate caves and mountainsides, they're the worst places. I keep thinking that noise is something, but it's just part of the rapids. That sound happens every once in a while. It confuses me. Okay, so at, at this bridge, I've got to go around the bridge. Because you can't step on it, apparently. Then there's a little twisty bit. And now hopefully I'll get it walking down here. There we go. I obtained one logical breathing device. Now I just continue going until I'm in the river. And hopefully I won't get blasted by Aqua Rake or something because that can happen. And it will kill me. Also, on my test run, I got a pincer attack in the river, which was just great. Alright, go, hurry up. Thank goodness uh, both of these... Uh, caves are to the right, because going to the left would probably be quite difficult. I mean, I could do the first one based on the music or something, but the second one, uh, I'd have to run through the first cave, so the music would be off depending on how fast I am. So I probably wouldn't even be able to get the treasures in the second cave if uh, it was to the left. But thankfully it's not. Barring any unhappy accidents, I should be likely to make it through without having to heal. Sure, I am taking a lot of hits, though. Pretty much everything's hit me so far. Oh, wait, you're still in battle. I'm assuming that was Cyan. He's got the worst run chances, and. Alright, so yeah, the way these caves are laid out are kind of nice. It's just kind of the direction you think you're supposed to go, that's the direction you need to go. It's not like that other place. You, you just gotta remember the vague layout of the cave. So that's a thing. Alright, so I'm back in the river. Come on, Cyan. There we go. I'm not sure exactly what the minimum or maximum number of battles I can get in the river is. It's not that high though. Wait, straight up. It's 
straight left. Straight up. And this should take me into the room with the water draining place. Now I go left and down a bunch of times. And I should end up right on the staircase where the water is that it needs to be drained. Now I head back to the right, and down right. And back to the down left. There's my water draining. Wasn't sure exactly when I'd be allowed to walk again, so I just did the menu trick. So this will send me into that little notch up there, which is probably the only part of this place that's just randomly sticking out there to mess with me. So I gotta back out two steps. Straight down the staircase. No. Yeah, I, I pressed the button during when I thought the tr screen transition would be, so I was able to test that I went in the hole. Doesn't really matter too much anyway, because there's that chest right up there that's going to tell me where I am. One, two... I've got to do it twice where I back out... Uh, one, two steps, and then that was the first time I got to back out one step, and this is going to be the second time. Because this is a stupid little wall in between I the space where I was and the place where I wanted to go. I have no idea why there's a door down here. He's like, I'm going to go jump in a river, find an underwater cave, and then I'm going to build a door. Is it's like, why? But it's helpful anyway, because now I know where I am. Yep, there we go. Just needed to walk up and left out of there and just keep going. So just take one step to the left to line myself with the staircase. Stupid cyan, next time you wash up unconscious on a dock, make sure to wash up unconscious one space to the left for me. I'm not even going to bother trying to leave Nike at a save. It seems like a total waste of time, to be honest. Like. Going through Nikea is probably a lot harder than just talking to this random guy down here on the ship, so... Alright, unfortunately it's the second option here. Good, music fade out. I made it. And now for an hour long cutscene. Woohoo! <laughs> Now she's just a stone's throw away. Decisive battle is about to unfold.
Oh, someone's coming in. Is that Cyan already, or do the Terra Edgar Bannon group have to walk in as well? There's party number two slash three. Oh, that's Gao getting beat. <laughs> Goodbye, Gao. See ya. And Terra, I suppose. He's just like, <laughs> out of the way. Now we flash to Kefia. There's a reason why Opos rhymes with Dispose. Of course, I suppose that it's a GBA line, so it's not gonna happen here, but whatever. Now everyone's got to go climb up to the top. Unfortunately, the save point up there, it just kind of taunts me because I can open my eyes standing on the save point, but that's just not very good and useful when the only person who I can equip with the save point is Terra. So it switches back every time. It's like... And this is the last save point till the Magitek facility too, so... Okay, well, I'll open my eyes anyway. Just in case I need to buy something. Hopefully I won't need to. Probably I won't need to. I don't think so. And see you next time. Alright then, so straight up. And now there's a stupid little notch on the ground here. This area was annoying to work out because uh, it's very craggy. And not really, uh, and pretty chaotic as well. So. And there weren't any easy routes through. Alright, this brings you up to right under the bridge. Why I can't step onto the bridge from here, I have absolutely no clue, but it looks like it's right there, but I've got to actually go one step to the left and go around. And there's that stupid twist in the bridge just because. Alright, now, if I did it right... Yeah, I'm in the... No, wait, I'm not in the cutscene. Right, yeah, I may have done that wrong. Oh, did I? No, that's just a weird quirk, isn't it? Yeah, whenever there's not much chance of recovery in here, I've got to find one specific tile for the cutscene, and that's not going to happen. 